So you liked you liked Dynamite? That was a good show. I uh, I liked almost everything. I would say maybe um, the Keith Lee segment, maybe not. Right. Um, they're um, you know bringing in two guys that are very very green with Strickland um, and uh, big guys. Um, I always worry about it because one of the problems with AEW, um, it's it's a it, you know you could say it's a good problem. But it's also a bad problem in the sense is that the the caliber of most of the wrestlers is so good that you bring in guys that are green and they really stand out. Like when you have all these great matches, when you're having a match that's only average, it looks bad. And you're trying to so, – so like Parker Boudreaux, um, you know, or the guy that um, – what's the guy's name that um, – you know, uh, what's his name? Um, uh I don't even I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Um, the new guy that they're putting with uh, yeah. um, in, in Strickland's group. Um, he's a the baseball, baseball player. player. Baseball player, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's he played he played um, minor league baseball from 2011 to uh, as late as last last year he was still playing in uh, the Mexican League. And he we got up to he got up to double A ball. He was a uh, uh, Tampa uh, Tampa Bay draft pick who played a lot of years of minor league ball, but he's a big guy, six four, and um, you know he looked, you know, every bit of two seventy, if not more. Um, all kinds of tattoos and everything, but it's like a guy that inexperienced, and then being thrown in on that show with that kind of wrestling, um, you know, it's 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 tough. You know, I mean, if it was WWE, they'd be sent to NXT for a couple of years to get ready before you're going to debut a guy like that, especially, um, you know, and in the AEW, again, like the the caliber of the matches is so much more important to that audience than the WWE. So it makes it actually harder and not easier. Um, I mean, it's kind of, um, I don't know, you know, I mean, you get, get swerved in there with this new group. And, uh, well, I mean, that's, so that's the one thing that I would probably question on the show, but, um, yeah, I mean, just everything, um, just concise segments that built to something that are building to something, building to a lot of matches, um, you know, between MJF and Brian Danielson and Adam Page and John Moxley and different directions. And obviously we got a Falls Count Anywhere and then a ladder match next or in, in, uh, the 28th and then the 11th. Um, and, um, just, uh, you know, um, you know, women's, the women's stuff you kind of could see with, uh, Tony Storm and Sheeta and Baker and, uh, Jamie Hayter, obviously at some point leading to Jamie Hayter and Baker and Soraya in there too, obviously. Um, maybe even, uh, you know, Soraya, Sasha Banks. I mean, there's there's nothing they've done that have hint, that's hinted at Sasha Banks, and as far as like ticket movement in Los Angeles, you know, with the idea that maybe it's Sasha Banks, there's been no ticket movement in Los Angeles at all. So even though there are people who certainly want to believe it or expect it, it has not been reflected in ticket sales. That people have not shelled out tickets with the idea of seeing you know Sasha Banks there because they don't um, they don't trust enough to buy tickets. Um, so that's you know, unlike with CM Punk. Um, and they haven't, you know, really teased it. I mean, in the sense of they've teased the idea of the partner, but not really of the, um, you know, of the um, person who would be the partner of uh, Soraya against uh, Britt and Jamie Hayter. And, um, you know, Jericho threw fire at Action Andretti. Um, looks like uh, Action Andretti and uh, Ricky Starks against Jericho and maybe Sammy Guevara or maybe uh, Daniel Garcia type of, a, you know, thing there. And, um, you know, but yeah, Joe and uh, Wardlow next Wednesday for the uh, uh, championship. Um, Hook and Jungle Boy against uh, Big Bill Morrissey and uh, Lee Moriarty looks like a program. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, I, I thought, uh, most of the segments I thought were very, very strong. Most of the promos were strong and, um, the first match, the, the trios match, I, 
for the you know I thought was a great match and I thought that um, the uh, Jamie Hader and um, Sheeta match was probably one of the three or four best women's matches the company's ever had. They really tore yeah, the house down. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I th what more could you want in a in a in a main event? I thought that was fantastic. Yeah, they really delivered. Yeah. They really they really delivered, and it's great for both of them. I think um, because now I think people. Um, I think people might may, may see them in a you know both of them, but especially Jamie Hader's champion, as you know not just okay it's a women's title, but but I like a match to look. Jamie Hader's matches may be matches to look forward to, and you know you expect them to be great, and so that's it's always good when you um, when you have that. I think. Randy, let's do the wrestling report. What do you got today? Put your laughing gear on. <laughs> My laughing gear. <laughs> What is uh, wrestle a load? <laughs> and Brian Hawks. I, I don't. That's what Vinny got paid after his show. I don't. I don't know what wrestle load is. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute! It's Wrestle Cade. Oh, oh well, that good. makes more sense. Where'd Brian go? <laughs> He's recuperating. <laughs> He's broken. You broke him, Granny. <laughs> Sheesh. I have never. I have. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.